Hey, what is up, guys? Mr. Logos here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why Black Ops Cold War sucks. It's another rant video. Once again, my most popular videos are just over and over Call of Duty rant videos because you guys not only seem to like it, but also agree with me. And guess what? This video is not in any way influenced by Activision employees inviting me out to play test their games early. I'm not affiliated with Activision whatsoever. I'm not bought and paid for by Activision. I'm a longtime fan that's been playing since the series started. Still have all my original copies from COD 1 all the way up to probably uh, all the games. I have all my original copies. And yeah, 17 years in. And just like last year's video I did, I played the game and I told you like it, how I played it, what my experience was like. And it's like one of my most popular videos. Modern Warfare sucks, right? Over 200 of you subscribed on that video alone. And I just wanted to let you guys know before I get into this video, because people seem to miss this every single time I make a video about Call of Duty and why it's going downhill year after year now, is that I do not make a single penny. I've never monetized any of my videos, so don't worry about any of that. Now that we got that out the way, right? No bias, none of that. I want to let you guys know that I critique Call of Duty because I love the franchise. Right? That's the only reason why I make these videos. I do not make these videos for clout. I don't make these videos to get money. I don't monetize my channel. This is strictly out of passion. I want you guys to understand that. Right? So, Black Ops 2 was the best Call of Duty of all time. Anybody that tells you different was either too young or they played it way past its prime with hackers, you know, uh, destroying the game as it is right now in its current state. Um, or were just completely terrible when Black Ops 2 came out. Black Ops 2 was the last Call of Duty where every single gun was viable. You could literally get a new I remember watching and getting nukes for almost every single gun in the game. The maps, I mean, you had map after map after map that was just classic after classic. Um, the streaks were just god tier. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 was neck and neck with, with streak, you know, um, tiers. Um, the DLC, the perks, the score streaks, I mean... Literally everything about Black Ops 2 is just, that was the the highest point for Call of Duty, right? Warzone may, you know, have garnered millions and millions of dollars, right? Or billions of dollars, whatever, right? They got all their money. But the base game of Modern Warfare died out before January. Christmas is obviously going to influence sales. That's a, that's a given, we know that. But the game was dead in the water. No YouTubers were even uploading anymore. Nobody cared to upload. All it was was negativity. I made that video off the cuff, didn't really care, and it was one of my most popular videos because I just told it like how it was, right? This game has potential. Treyarch has a potential, right? Always, right? You saw that after Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was the, the best point in the game, right? Of the series. Then Ghost came out. Horrible game. Lots of problems. And then you had boost jumping, Horrible AW with no memorable streaks, horrendous maps. There was only like a couple of good maps that Dr. Respect was responsible for. And then you're coming off two bad years. And then Treyarch's, yes, Treyarch's the savior. Yes. And Black Ops 3 because their previous game was Black Ops 2, the best of all time. But they added Destiny streaks and wall running and all this, right? But it was still a good game. And then you go to Infinite Warfare. And then you go to COD World War II, two horrendous back-to-back -back games. And then, yes, Treyarch again, going to save us. Black Ops 4, Destiny Streaks again, get rewarded for doing absolutely nothing, Handicap Streaks. And then mediocre gameplay, stem shot every five seconds, right? It's just like, I mean, but, but it was still better than the last two games, right? Treyarch's always going to be set up in that position because they could, the other studios cannot do anything right. So here we are, 10 year anniversary, Black Ops 1, right? A game that I put days into across multiple accounts. And this game, right, as you see the chopper gun right here, I mean, it's like looking like a remastered Black Ops 1 almost. But this game has a severity, like, there's, there's so many issues with this game. I mean, it's still better than Modern Warfare, because I was done with Modern Warfare just a few couple... I was done by beta, like, I was just wanting to get some gameplay footage, that's all. But this game has potential, but there's so many problems. So let's get into it, right? Skullbase Snatch Making is the obvious one. It's the one that jumps straight at you. If you don't know what Skullbase Snatch Making is, it means if you are good at the game, you're going to only get put against people that are good. 
if you're bad at the game, you're only going to get people against you know that are bad. If you're intermediate, then you're only going to play people as intermediate. So that's the problem with Black Ops One or Black Ops Cold War off the get go is just skippable as matchmaking. Um, what's annoying about it is that people seem to not understand it. Like, like they say, why do you complain about playing people of your skill level? Well, the problem is, I play the game to have a good time. If I want to play people against my skill level, I'll play ranked or play competitive, as I've been a competitive player since 2014, January 3rd of 2014. Okay? If I want to play tournaments and for money and wagers and all that, I will go do that. If I want to get on and play public matches with friends and family, I will go play an older Call of Duty because I can't play newer Call of Duties with friends and family because they'll leave because I have a 3 KD or whatever KD on any game, and they cannot keep up with that, right? That's a problem. People that don't understand that, you like, you, it just seems like you're talking to a brick wall about skip matchmaking. They just they always say, oh, you're just scared to play good uh, good players or people at your skill level. It's like. Black Ops 2 encouraged you. It literally gave you a message of the day that to go easy on the Christmas noobs. But we know you won't. So have fun. And if you're a new player, you can play against AI, offline, you know, controlled bots, and for your first 10 levels. And rank up, get a feel for the game. But no, they did away with that. I guess that didn't work. I don't know. Back when I played all those old Call of Duties, I never not once heard my dad my brother, my any real life friends that are obviously not good at Call of Duty games at all, and they never once complained, you know, because we got random lobbies and had fun. People always say like, "Oh, you're just good players. You're gonna make it. You're gonna ruin it for the all the other players that aren't as good or they don't have time." Do you realize that we are less than one percent us good players? And guess what? You're not going to play good players all the time. Nowhere near my skill level all the time. You're going to play mostly bad players or people that are just below, a little above average. That's it. Right? I want to have fun. I can't do that. As you see, like, and this gameplay is a rare one. After this gameplay right here, I got put against sweats. I have to jump shot, stem shot. I have to run the best classes. I can't fool around and use any other class because I'll get destroyed. So that's one of the other disadvantages of skill based matchmaking. I ha I'm forced to run what's in meta. I can't. I can't have fun. That alone is a deal breaker. Not buying the game. Let's go through the other obvious quick ones. The maps. I mean Miami. Uh, it's just. It's too. There's too much space. Moscow has too many windows, head glitches, too much extra space on the maps. Right. They don't know how to cut the fat. They don't. They don't at all. I mean, and um, satellite, it's only good because streaks can go ham on it. But you get shot from literally every single angle. The dunes are snipers and head glitch a heaven for them, right? They just, it's, there's too much space in these maps. There's no flow to them. They're not raid. They're not standoff. They're not slums. They're none of those maps, right? It's just, it's horrendous. The snipers are literally running around broken, as can be quick scoping, insta kill. There's no flinch to them, and you know that's it's a problem. You know, so snipers are once again SMGs. People are running spas twelve and shotguns as secondaries, so you don't get penalized for that. If you're bad, you can run around with shotguns as secondaries. Up, oh, pull out. I'm getting shot out. I'm gonna pull out my stem shot real quick, heal up, and then pull out a spas twelve, and just spray, but no penalty. That's a problem. Hopefully you understand that. Um, the shoot first, die first is happening constantly. The streak, the score streak system, it feels like it takes ages to get streaks. And the helicopters, the turrets, you know, the... I mean, they all get destroyed instantly. Like, they don't even last that long. They're not even good on half, of the, like, most of these maps anyways. And it's like there's... There's literally nothing fun about the game. There's literally a perk that highlights people for being on streaks. I mean, that tells you all you need to know. So bad players are catered to over and over. It's not it's not a fun game. So, you know, that's the unfortunate part. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, I'm just being honest, you know, another year of this. And I'm waiting for Halo Infinite. That's going to be the game I'm buying with the Xbox Series X. And that's why I'm going to be uploading on my channel. 
don't expect Call of Duty Cold War because it's not happening. This game is horrendous. It has tons of potential, but it's not going to be. This is the game. But like I said, like last year, the year before that, and year before that, this is the game. And I'm right over and over again. So with that being said, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.